Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the adequately named last gun that you'll ever leave behind, the life card from Trailblazer Firearms. So I bought this gun about two years ago and I have carried it every day since I bought it. It is honestly the last firearm I leave behind. Going over an external overview of the firearm, this is chambered in 22 WMR, which is 22 Magnum instead of 22 Long Rifle. You have a notch sight to use as a sort of sight. Um, this isn't really designed to shoot long range, although it does have a two and a half inch barrel, which if I'm being honest is two and a half inches is plenty. It's more than adequate. Two and a half inches is more than enough to get the job done. So it's really an adequately sized barrel, especially when compared to other firearms in its category, it's almost even above average in terms of size. Two and a half inches is fine. To finish up the external features of this firearm, you actually have a very unique trigger system, which um, when half cocked, doesn't allow you to pull the trigger at all. This is so that you can keep around chambered when folded. They do have a disclosure, I believe, that tells you not to keep around chambered when folded. However, I've been carrying this with a round chambered for the past two years, and I have 0% chance that it's going to go off. I really don't think it will go off. I think they have to, for legal reasons, tell you that you can't put a round in it, because you can hit this hammer as hard as you want, and it's not going to move forward until, of course, you pull it back all the way. As soon as you pull it back all the way, the hammer is now locked in the rear position, and the trigger is now unlocked so you can pull it to fire your single shot of 22 Magnum. Additionally, in the base of the firearm, it's a little sleeve thing. You can put three rounds of 22 Magnum in this so that you have some ammunition to reload should you have to use this in a firefight and uh, reload your single shot that you get. This gun is adequately called by Trailblazer Firearms the last gun you'll leave behind, and it truly has been the last gun that I leave behind. Since I bought it about two years ago, it has pretty much just lived in my watch pocket. Um, that's the little tiny pocket on your jeans that was originally designed to hold a pocket watch, and now I have a life card in it. However, this is small enough it could actually fit inside your wallet. I have it inside my wallet at times. Uh, I keep it in this pocket, and it's honestly been a just great conversation piece. It's a gun that I have at all times with me, even in places where I can't conceal carry my full-size firearm or my even my subcompact firearm. Um, I'm one of those weird guys who likes to tuck his shirt in at all times. I kind of dress like the best part of my day is waking up to my boyfriend's fresh pancakes. So for me, this is a big deal. I actually do carry this firearm. It is better than nothing. Um, and I say that better than nothing? Like, is it better than nothing? I like to think so. I think it is, in worst case scenario, going to be more functional than not having anything. It will leave me just slightly better off than being unarmed. Um, it is accurate. I've become pretty accurate with it. I'm able to shoot it. Um, I can actually hit targets about 25 to 30 meters away and I'm not having any issues. Uh, that being said, you do have to train with this if you want to use it. I'm pretty quick at drawing it. It's not a hard gun to draw. And yeah, you could just carry a spare magazine in the pocket, but I figure if I am carrying my main firearm, I could just throw my gun at the guy, pull this out and take him out anyway. That is pretty much it for the external overview of this firearm. We're gonna get into the shooting test now. I guess it's worth noting that on similar firearms like this, they are like the revolvers that have either 22 long rifle or 22 Magnum. Even the 22 Magnum ones have tiny little handles on it. You put them in your pocket, it still looks like a pocket gun if you're printing a little bit. This one doesn't look like a gun when it's folded up. No one knows what this is. Um, it just looks like a, a like card thing, right? It doesn't look like anything. Um, when you unfold it too, you do get a full purchase on this handle. I can fully grip this firearm, which makes it for me a little bit easier to shoot. And that's probably why I'm able to get some pretty decent range out of it with a little bit of practice. Okay. That's pretty much it. Before we go to the range, I do want to say our channel's tripled in size since our last video. I just want to thank you guys for hanging out. It's pretty great. I've met a lot of your moms. It's a really comfortable situation for me. I'm starting to get a roster up. So I'm going to throw this to Thomas at the range and uh, let him have at it. Thomas. What is this? It's a gun. Shoot it. I don't know if I can do the recoil on this. So today we're talking about the life card. 
I can see the reason for wanting to have a firearm like this. It's essentially for when you want to have a gun, when you can't have a gun. It, it'll fold up into a little rectangle like this and you can put it in your back pocket, your front pocket, whatever. Now I'd say this is the last gun that you ever want to carry. Uh, ergonomically, it's pretty good. You get, you get a nice purchase on it so you don't have to like wrestle it while you're shooting it. Um, honestly, in my opinion, I'd just rather carry a magazine in my pocket. I mean, you get the one shot off, that's great. So the main big deal breaker for me is that the fact that it is one shot and it's really slow to reload. Um, other than that, I don't really have much else to say about this. I've only had a few good moments to actually shoot this, but it's really fun to shoot and that's kind of the main point, right? As long as you're having fun, at least with shooting this, you didn't waste your money, right? Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. All right, so why would you want this? Well, for one, two, when I'm going to your mom's house, she has this strict no gun policy there. And she, every time I go over there, she gets a little handsy with me, you know? And so I, I keep this one in my pocket, pretty close to myself, under the radar. And it, so if she ever decides to jack reach me, if you know what I mean, uh, I can pull this out and, uh, you know, obviously be able to defend myself in that scenario. I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me.